I think if I could change anything about my studio, I would just get a more customizable backdrop to make videos a little bit easier to film. Oh, I found this really cool video about making a movie set yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, it actually looked really easy. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I've got a super exciting project coming up soon that I cannot wait to share with you. Big main gift that I have yet to share with you has actually been the backdrop for a lot of this video, but it has hence been painted so it'll look a little bit different. But we built a movie set this year for me to film my YouTube videos with and to redecorate and customize however I want for photos and videos in the future. So I am so happy about this one. In the past few months, I began to take the creation part of content creation much more seriously. And I began taking myself and my skills more seriously. Allowing myself the freedom to create out of the box photography and videos was extremely important. And as my creativity progressed, I found myself maximizing the current locations in my home and requiring a more customizable space. I saw this video quite a while ago and I didn't think much of it, but as I was planning my next photo shoot, it popped back into my head. I decided to ask my parents if we could build the set for my birthday and we just went from there. After thoroughly studying the video, we had to acquire our supplies. We then measured my room and concluded that we could fit six panels perfectly creating a full room illusion. Each panel has a simple frame with two additional support pieces and one full coverage wall piece. My dad cut all the pieces to size and then we secured the frame with some screws. We then glued down the press board and added a few nails for extra security. material. And we added the final support beam. The first panel was then complete. We simply copied and pasted for the next five panels. Now in the original video, he attached a leg to the back of each panel to hold it up. We did not have enough room in my studio to do this. So instead, my dad attached each piece with brackets and hinges so the panels could all support each other. Once the set was fully put together, I began painting. For now, I am simply painting it with white primer because I want to decorate for the holidays and I think that the white will look good with my red and green decorations. As for the wide gaps and seams between each panel, I simply taped over them with masking tape before painting. I think it did a decent job in hiding the seams. I also added a dowel across the set for hanging outfits and props. So far, I've only decorated my set once. It was before it was painted, and I used some balloons to take a birthday photo. 
Let creativity fill your soul. Let inspiration run through your veins. Let's make art in any way possible, and together, give the gray people a bit of our color.